I'm Boomer Esiason for SI.com with my top four quarterbacks heading into NFL Championship weekend. Number four, Russell Wilson for the Seattle Seahawks. You know, he did not play all that well last week. As a matter of fact, he hasn't played well here during the stretch run for the Seahawks, leading them to the number one seed in the NFC. However, he's virtually unbeatable at home, having lost only once in the last two years at CenturyLink Field. There is no question that he has to up his game. He's going to have to match that of Colin Kaepernick, who may be playing the best of any quarterback left in the tournament thus far. Number three, Tom Brady. That's right, number three, Tom Brady, did not throw a touchdown pass last week against the Colts. That's the fourth time in his postseason history where he has not thrown a touchdown pass. The good news for Patriot fans is in all four of those games, the Patriots won. They've reinvented themselves as a much more run-oriented team, which means that they do have the goods to go into Denver and beat Peyton Manning. Although we all know how this is going to play itself out, it's going to be a shootout at the OK Corral meaning that he's going to have to put up at least 30 points to beat the Denver Broncos in mile high. Number two, Peyton Manning. Is there a guy that has more pressure on him than Peyton Manning? Now, is there a guy that can eat up that pressure better than Peyton Manning? I don't think so. Peyton Manning played a very efficient game last week against the San Diego Chargers, throwing for a couple touchdown passes. He has all the weapons. Unfortunately for him, the last couple times against a 3-4 defense, they have not put up big numbers, and that's exactly what the Patriots like to do. And look for Bill Belichick to play rope-a-dope once again with Peyton Manning like he has done in his history. And then, of course, number one is Colin Kaepernick. You know, as the playoffs got started this year, I ranked Colin Kaepernick as the most important player in this playoff seating simply because he was going to have to win three games on the road. Well, he went to Green Bay and then, of course, last week to Carolina and played exceptional football. Not only is he doing it through the air, he's also making the little plays at the most important time in the particular game that he's playing in. He's not turned the ball over. He's been more of an efficient passer than he has been this whole season. As a matter of fact, we're seeing the Colin Kaepernick that we saw last year at the end of the season that led the San Francisco 49ers to a Super Bowl berth. Don't be surprised if somehow they figure out a way to beat their nemesis, the Seattle Seahawks, in their building. I'm Boomer Esiason.